Welcome back to another episode of the No Bluffing Podcast. Drizzy, I'm in the building with my boy JJ. We here, always we, working. Always at work. Never always, bluffing. No bluffing. <laughs> get in tune, look, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you get in that ticket giveaway. You win two tickets to any Los Angeles Rams home game of your choice. Make sure you, you know, follow all the socials to try to win those tickets. My dog. What you got? All right, look, he, he sound like he on trash already. Look. Rams versus Steelers. See? I feel like y'all should have won that game, bro. I feel like y'all should have won that game. What did you see out there? Just Look, if y'all been tuning in, it's the same thing over and over. I told you that middle eight. I'm going I'm to I'm ask y'all a question. I'm going I'm to I'm ask y'all, what's the middle eight? I'm going to ask. I'm going to pick a fan out with somebody. I'm going to ask you, what does JJ mean when we talk about the middle eight? So they won the toss, right? Yep. Usually you defer your, your decision to the second half. So coming out of the second half, you could choose whether you want to kick or receive. These dudes, they wanted to us and said, nah, we don't want to defer. We just go and receive. <laughs> so disrespectful. We are, disrespectful. <laughs> disrespectful. Like, like their offense, like a high-powered <laughs> offense or something. So we like, okay, boom. They receive three and out, off rip. We mm -hmm. like dummies. Anyway, get, getting close to halftime, boom. We ended up going down and, and scoring. Missed the extra point, but we scored before halftime. So I'm like, yes. We're going to get to those extra points. I'm like, we went in the middle eight. We went in the middle eight. Yeah. Coming out of halftime, first play, pick TJ Watt. They end up scoring. So. Shift everything. We're doomed. Yeah. We, we lost. We lost <laughs> the middle eight. So I'm like, bro, not again. Not again. But yeah, like you said, we, I think going into halftime, they had three points. Like, couldn't really move the ball. Yeah. Like. It was dominating the game. I feel like y'all was in control the first half. They really, they offense was, it was kind of like they were stuck in mud. Kenny Pickett yeah. couldn't really get nothing going. Najee Harris couldn't really get nothing going on the ground game. The yeah. defense held up. Y'all was in control of the game, and it's just like, it's, it's just football is such a momentum game. Momentum. It's like one thing could swing everything. And that's what happened. That that pick, that was the, probably the biggest play of the game. Because yeah. even if we, like, got a few first downs and punt it, that would have been fine. Because they got to drive the length of the field. That would have been fine. But we turned the ball over. They was on the, the six, mm -hmm. the six-yard line. They end up scoring. It's a 10-9 game now, whole brand new game. So, I mean, it's just them little small, small things. And, and like you said, we dominated the game. We got enough. Yeah. It's just like we got to lock in and really take advantage of that momentum, like you said, and, and take games over. I feel like, the, like that third quarter – I feel like they offense started. They don't have like a super high powered offense. No, you know what I mean. They don't get a bunch of explosives that often. Man, Big like, Ben ain't out there, man. Right, right. So it was like, but I do feel like toward the end of that third and the fourth, started clicking. pick it start, pick it start. You know what I mean? Finding George Pickens, mm -hmm. that connection started picking up. They had a couple back shoulders that yeah. that couple great back shoulders. Them them like kind of impossible to stop. I mean, it's tough. Like they they do it so well. So I mean. Even yeah. 18, he had, oh, they had, oh, we got to talk about these calls. Bro, these at calls. The end of the game. Get, bro, these calls is getting crazy. So, end of the game, y'all do what y'all got to do. Y'all stop them on, y'all stop them on third. Y'all get it to fourth down. They go with the QB sneak. Kenny Pickett doesn't even make it back to the line of scrimmage. If you look at his knee, his knee was down before he even got to the line of scrimmage. Yeah. There's no way he, he wasn't even close. To the first down marker. Yeah. What like the ref and bro, these calls are crazy. Y'all yeah. couldn't challenge it, and it wasn't under two minutes, so there was no booth review. But it, it, it's crazy, bro. We gotta start finding these refs, man. If they wanna find us for face mask and unsportsmanlike stuff like that, we these, we gotta get in these refs pockets too, man. They getting off too easy, or at least give them like demerits or something. They get you gotta sit out two yeah. weeks, no pay, something, bro. They get four or five demerits. Look, you might be cooked. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Definitely got to have a accountability. Because these calls, but believe it or not, these calls, like, these little calls change every day. It could change your whole – this could change your whole season. Yeah. Like, one game can change everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? For so sure. it's like they got to get it right. And, they, you know, there's no accountability for the rest. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I get it. They human. You know what I mean? It's bang, bang calls. But, like, come on, bro. Something like that, you can't miss that. Right. So, And it's, then they call a the pass interference on a killer – like, he ain't even touched the dude. He ain't the even ball, they just threw the ball out of bounds. Like they were, um, they weren't on the same page. Like right. I think Kenny Pickett thought he was running a double move or some or a goal. Like just a terrible call. He didn't even touch the dude. So yeah, that's tough. Y'all, y'all missed a couple. 
you know, uh, y- y'all missed the point after mm, touchdown. Two two extra. No, we missed two kicks and one extra point. Yeah. How many? How many? How many points did that equal? Two field goals and that's one extra seven. point. That's a tub. How two, much we lose field. by? Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I do feel like. But 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 you can't. It don't. I mean, it don't come down to that. Like, we still should have won the game. But yeah. It is kind of tough, man. We got to definitely got to get on track with that. But it's not. It's not all one person. You know, it's eleven guys out there. Like they got to protect. The snap, snap got to be hold. good. The hold. So you know what I'm saying. It ain't just all one person. But I feel like kickers, man. It's kind of like. Like DBs, y'all trained to like, uh, he got me on that one next play. Right, you, right, you gotta, right. Y'all got to have that short-term memory, next yeah. down, next down. Kickers, it's like they kick, mm-hmm. then they sit forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then they gotta, so I feel like their confidence could get rattled. And as a kicker, I feel like once you lose your confidence, it's you kind of shot. So You shot, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, But, you know, it, it definitely was a good game. Uh, I feel like defense, y'all, y'all held y'all end of the deal up. It's, it's a tough game, though. It's a tough yeah, game. Man. How did it feel to be playing against uh, one of the former AFC North opponents you used to go against? So, yeah, I was out there on uh, kickoff return, <laughs> and I was on their sideline. All I heard was, hey, JJ. I'm like, huh? Like, I look <laughs> over. Guess who it is? Who? Big Mike T, Mike <laughs> Tomlin. Look, hey, that's one of the dogs, bro. Mike like, Tomlin, the, he's a dog. Well respected. I'm telling you, like. You usually you don't see like a black man in that position dominating, you know, his his profession. So everybody love Mike T. JJ, I look over. Went over, dapped him up. He like, you had to get out that north, huh? Since you brought it up, he said you had to get out that north, huh? I said, man, had to, man. <laughs> them boys, that ASC North, them boys hit. The linemen big. They, it's they, cold. It's cold. They <laughs> run that ball. So I'm like, man, but much respect to him. Um yeah, Mike Tomlin, one of the best coaches oh, yeah, in, the, period. In, in the league, for sure. It's like he got a lifetime deal with the Steelers. Like, I yeah. don't think they going to get rid of him. Like, he yeah, ain't had a losing season yet. Like, Which is crazy because you would think, like, after losing Ben, after mm. losing Le'Veon Bell, then A.B. It just, figure just, it out. He always find a way, even if he don't have as much talent on one side of the ball, he always find a way to win games. For sure. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's just a credit to the great coach that Mike Tomlin is. Y'all go to Jerry World next week, this week, coming That'll up. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. You know when 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 you play Dallas, the lights is on. Mm-hmm. What you feeling like going into that game? They got you know what I mean. Dak, Zeke. I mean not Zeke. Dak. They got uh, CD, CD, Michael Parsons. Yeah. Uh, you know it's it's a big game. What I say last week? That ain't my problem. Michael Parsons. Look, that ain't my problem. But yeah, yeah they got some dogs, man. Uh, Shame Diggs went down, but they still got Gilmore. They got Gilmore. He's um, a, he's, a, he's a goat. Yeah, he he locked up. So nah, it's gonna be a challenge. Every game, every week is a challenge. And like you said, we gotta pack up, you know, go on the road. Tough pack environment. That, pack that defense. Pack got to. On the road, you gotta pack that defense. It's gonna be a hostile environment, man. Like, I've been there. That was actually like my first bump, like my rookie year. So Oh, you played in Jerry World. Yeah. Okay. So that was like my first bump, cause the starter, you know what I'm saying, he was up and down. So they like boom. The starter at the time, you just gonna you gonna play base. When okay. we go nickel and dime and stuff, JJ, you going in. Okay. I had a decent game, a couple tackles. I had a fourth down stop. I had, you know what I'm saying, a big tackle on Zeke uh, to end the game. The following week, I ended up starting, and I got a pick, and then, you know, the rest is history. So I, I got a, a love for that place. You know, I grew up a Cowboys fan. Yeah. So I can't wait to go out there, man. See, it, kinda, it's, it, it reminds you of SoFi for real. You see that big old screen up there. You know, right. I already know it's going to be crazy. Um, the sun peeked through the uh, little window in there. It's, it's nice. Yeah. It's a nice little it's setup. It's one of the best there. stadiums in the league, for 100%. sure. So Definitely. it's Jerry World. Like. I feel like it's a, it's a really good matchup. I feel like uh, offensively, they kind of they not like 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 Miami. They got super a lot of explosives. They doing uh, uh, reverses. Then the, the wide receiver throwing it down the field. I feel like Dallas. They Kind of simple offensively, but mm-hmm. they effective. Oh yeah, but I feel like y'all could is is more of a y'all can line up and just play against them. Yeah, type of thing. I mean, we beat them. Uh, every time I played them, I think I beat them. The one time we went down there, I was injured. We lost, but I played them in the playoffs. Beat them. Um, got a respect for Dak, familiarity with mm-hmm. him. But I'm hoping to get Dakota and not Dak, man. I'm hoping yeah. to, cause he he put 400 up on you. He and, will and, and, and walk away like. Uh, uh, it was nothing. Mm-hmm. So we got to go down there and challenge them boys, challenge them receivers, tackle them backs. You know, Tony Pollard, special team coach. A lot of people don't know Bones. He was with us in L.A. Okay. Dog. He, he probably the best in the game, honestly. For real? 
he he one of the best. Well respected. He gonna okay. have some tricks up his up his sleeve. Mm-hmm. He gonna have them boys playing hard because you know he used to be he used to coach with the Rams. So it's exciting, man. They got a good coordinator, Dan Quinn. Uh, so. That's good. gonna be a, that's gonna be a big game, man. Yep. Uh, Marquee game, man. Marquee game, yeah. yeah definitely. Because they they probably don't think we're gonna do much of nothing, so they better lock in, focus up. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. And you know what? I'm I'm thinking about. Have you so have you met Jerry Jones since you played there? Like, nah, do you ever meet him? He ain't got time for me. He be on the field though, like a coach, bro. He, he be, run he, it. He be down there on the field. Then you go see him in a the booth. Then he back on the field. Like, yo, Jerry Jones be everywhere, bro. He like the owner, GM. Uh, assistant head coach, like he real, like in touch with the team, like right. he he know everything, like he draft he he drafting dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. they clear it with him, like he real in touch with the team. But I ain't never meet him. Hopefully I'll see him talk yeah. a little trash to him. Yeah, but I, it'll be a good <laughs> game. Uh, Matt Stafford, I'm gonna pray for you. Eleven yeah. is gonna be on your ass. They I'm gonna rush. pray for Matt Stafford, man, because they, they got a rush. They they definitely try to get to that quarterback. Yeah. Uh, we had the Eagles and Dolphins prime time last night. Two Alabama quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts moved on to Oklahoma once Tua took over. They both had good games. Um, the Dolphins. All right, let's start with the Eagles. I think the Eagles are showing how well-rounded they are mm-hmm. in all three phases of the game. Mm-hmm. Special teams, they don't really make mistakes. Defensively, they get stops. They got a great D-line. Offensively, Jalen Hurts, they got the cheat and tush play that you can't stop. <laughs> A.J. Brown looking like Terrell Owens when he was in Philly, bro. He is. He looked like T.O. out there. He, he does. Jalen Hurts, he, I, I really don't know what you do with that team. The old line is great. How, just how well-rounded of a team do they have? I, mean, I feel like they building momentum. Like when the season started, everybody was like, oh, they ain't the same team. You would have fooled me, man. Like they stay healthy. They got them young bulls on the D-line. Russian, like real live Russian. Uh, but yeah, I think they gained the momentum. You want to play your best ball like in December, you know what I'm saying? So they gained the momentum. It's fun to watch. I mean, we already played them, so I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully, we get to play them again. But I feel like they gained the momentum, man. They look scary. Yeah. They look, like you said, well rounded. They doing well-rounded. everything good right now. Jalen Hurts, he, he was uh, 23 of 31, 278 yards, and two touchdowns. Tua had a good game. He was 23 of 32, 216, one touchdown, one pick. Now, the Dolphins, look, we done seen them so- score 70. We done seen them, like, like treat people how, how USC used to treat people, like, when Reggie Bush was there. Like, that's the kind of stuff they was doing to, yeah. to professional teams. Yeah. But when they get bumped with the top teams, it don't really look the same. Nah, man. It don't look the same. They got punished by Buffalo. <laughs> that's now, a division game, though. That's that a hard. division game. Yeah. And now Philly, Philly handled them pretty, yeah. pretty easily. Yeah, you know what I I'm mean, saying? that's that's another thing. And then what they're gonna do when it when it get cold outside? That's what everybody keeps saying. They in Miami having it's all fun and games in Miami. Mm-hmm. It looked like it was a little chilly up in Philly. I seen a couple dudes had little jackets on. Yeah, that play a factor too. So all that passing and, and you know running wild on people, man. When it get cold outside. Yeah, you are gonna have to run that. But they got good. They got good backs though. They got really good backs. Good backs that can run. So, mm-hmm. but uh, it's one game. You know, it's prime time game. Philly a good team. I think it was a competitive game. Like, but it's really, good it game. is different than you know hanging seventy on somebody. I'm like, just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying because because I saw something. You know, the the teams they've beaten have a their combined record is like really bad. They beaten like five and twenty four. Yeah, yeah. They beaten up game. on they beaten up on some scrubs out there. Yeah. you know. But you know, we'll we'll see we'll see how how they. Look as the season continues to form out. Patrick Mahomes is starting to get that offense together. First few, they was winning games without, like the defense for Kansas City really improved. I don't know if people are really paying attention, but their defense is playing really well. Mm-hmm. The offense, what we was used to Patrick Mahomes, like if you're going against the Chiefs, you got to put up 30 to try mm-hmm. to win. Mm-hmm. First five weeks or whatever, they was winning games, but it wasn't in the spectacular offensive fashion that we was used to seeing. Mm-hmm. We see Pat Mahomes starting to, you know, put things together with those receivers. Uh, they got they got the uh, rookie second round pick Rice at receiver. Mm-hmm. Travis Kelsey went crazy. Patrick Mahomes four hundred twenty four yards, four touchdowns. And Travis Kelsey twelve catches, a buck seventy nine in a tub. Ah. I mean, bro, they 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 going crazy. Uh, they I don't think the Chargers have. I don't think Justin Herbert has ever beat Patrick Mahomes. Probably not. And they play twice a year. Probably not. 
that's a that's a tough team. I mean, like I said about that momentum, they gonna build that momentum at the right time. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it the last five, six years. Been doing it. Andy Reid, I think it's the continuity, man. Like Andy Reid, Kelsey, Mahomes. That core right there, you can mix and match. You can fill in around that. You can mix and match around that. But that little setup they got, they gonna find a way. And on defense, Coach Spag, he been doing it for a Spagnolia long time. Spagnolia been doing it for a long Good time. Good defense, winning, winning defense. Yeah. They might not be number one, you know what I'm saying, in, in, mm -hmm. the, in the stats and stuff like that, but when it come down to it, they're going to get off the field. They got that bend, don't break defense, Bend, though. don't break, they're going to get off the field, mm -hmm. and they're going to make winning plays, and opportune and plays. They get turnovers, too. I'm telling you, they're going to make opportune plays to help Mahomes. I mean, he don't need much help. Mm -hmm. You give him something, he's going to find a way to win. So yeah. I think that's what it is. So it's scary yeah. again for them Chiefs, man. Chiefs on the road. The Chargers, I feel like the Chargers is one of the more disappointing teams kind of year, year in and year out. And because hate, they got so much talent. I hate to say it, man. Staley, Brandon Staley, that's my dog, man. Yeah, let's talk, let's, let's talk about it. That's my dog. Like, we in 20, we our defense was so far. Brandon like, Staley was your D coordinator with the Rams, right? Yes. He could do no wrong. Like, mm -hmm. he dialing it up. We having play caller meetings, like, which I like, which I don't like. Like, he know exactly what to do, but it just don't make sense. It's like, are they not yeah, bought bro, in? He had, are they? He had you quarterback in the defense. He had AD up front. He Ramsey. had Ramsey out there. Like D Will was D balling. Will, like, Troy was balling. Yeah, he got they got Troy the same. was picking, picking everything off. They got the same thing though. Kinda. Yeah, Dur yeah. Bosa, Derwin. Yeah, Bosa, Khalil Mack. Yeah, they got Eric Kendricks. Yeah. And free agency, like... I don't know what it is, bro. It, it, they are one of the more underachieving, underperforming teams year in and year out to me. I don't know what it is, man. And I hate to say it, I think uh, Coach Staley might be on a hot seat, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The seat might be getting... Yeah, I think it's getting hot. Look, I think it's getting... Yeah! Hey! <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, if he do... Look, if he is on the hot seat... I know I'm gonna have a job next year. Look, <laughs> wherever he go, I'm going. Look, I show them boys. Look, it wasn't no fluke. So yeah, we'll see, man. I I, I root for him. I mean, we don't play him, so they yeah. AFC. I, I can kind of root for him, but yeah, it right. is like you said, disappointing, man. Yeah, and Justin Herbert struggled two 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 picks. Just I don't know what it is. I don't know what it. They got times where they just look. Super efficient offensively. Right. Keenan Allen get 18 catches in a game, 200 some yards. Like they look dominant offensively, yeah. and then it's like they bump into the big bros and they just <laughs> fold. Yeah, I don't know, man. They back to the drawing board, man. They might yeah. have just go back to the basics, strip everything down, and, and start start over. Like whatever they doing ain't working right now. I want to so. ask you, like, when you have a game where you just don't perform to the level you should, because I've heard like some coaches be like, "Look, we just gonna throw that tape tape out." And move on, mm -hmm. or we gonna watch it and learn from like like what you prefer to do. You want to watch that journey? You trying to just trash? You just trying to trash the bad film? Like look, let's just move on. I mean, you definitely want to look at the op learning ops. It's always learning ops. But even if you play a great game, it's always learning ops. Uh, mm -hmm. Opportunities to to grow and get better. But it is sometimes if I feel like if you just playing completely, you know, uncharacteristically, like. You might be like, just move on from it. Like, I don't right. know what happened, but maybe just pick a few plays and, and watch them and correct it. Don't yeah. don't just be like, we ain't watching it. That means you sweeping stuff under the rug. That yeah. mean, that mean that's a bigger <laughs> problem if you're doing that. Yeah. So you definitely want to grow. This league, like I said, it's about building momentum. It's a long season, mm -hmm. long season. So that's really what it is. Okay, we, we talked about last week, we, we said, hey, the Detroit Lions look like they for real. They look like they for real, for real. Shit, they got spanked this week. They went into Baltimore and got the brakes beat off. Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. Like, like that yeah. happens though. That happens. It's one game. Yeah, you can't win them all. And Baltimore, they they they're known to beat people, especially teams See, like that. I think it's the fashion they lost. And bro, this game was over middle of the second quarter. This game was over. Yeah. Lamar went crazy. Yeah, like like Lamar went crazy. I mean, he just was dominant. Twenty one to twenty seven, three fifty seven to three tubs. <sighs> might have had four. I think he had a rushing one. Oh yeah, he might have had a rushing one too. So yeah. it, like, what he. <laughs> I think for Detroit, it's, it's like either you gonna lose your confidence and go back to the Lions we all know, or you gonna bounce back from this and step up next week. Oh, they for sure gonna bounce back. They got the they got the right setup like from top to bottom. You know their head coach, he ain't gonna let them 
he ain't gonna let them fall off after a loss like that. He gonna, if anything, he gonna get on them even harder. Like mm-hmm. Dan Cam, from what I know, I don't know him personally, but just watching him, you know, I respect him. Like I like gonna, him. Yeah, he gonna have them boys ready to go. Like I they like probably, him. I'm saying it right now. I don't even know who they playing. They might blow whoever they play next. They might just beat the shit out of they them. Might they might just get them out of here. I'm telling you, they mm-hmm. might do it because that's the type of team I see that they are. So yeah. Definitely Damn. still like their team. Golf, golf still play good ball. I, I, mm-hmm. I like what they're doing over there. Lamar Jackson does. Is, we talked about Brock being an MVP. Mm-hmm. I think we definitely got to start talking about Lamar more. Lamar, they, I, I heard uh, golf might be in that conversation, but uh, I got to go back and look at. I got to go back and see the numbers from from the early games because. Yeah. But I mean, he always I mean, he won it before. I mean, yeah, he, he won it before. He always gonna be in the talk just to touch. But you know, he's he got dynamic. Baltimore winning games. You know, they win games down yeah, there. Yeah, he's you know dynamic. I mean? They 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 compete. They playoff team every year. Like yeah, you know what Lamar I'm definitely uh, has is showing to me that he's worth the money he he asked for. That he needs some more. If he had an agent, he might have got some more. He might have got some more chicken about them people. You might have got some more chicken See, about them. They people. be hating on. They be hating on cats like that. Like. They realize he probably could have got some more or more guaranteed or something, but he go against the grain and like, but hey, I like it. You know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. believe in what he believe in mm-hmm. and he fought for it and he still got paid. So God bless you, man. Um, your your old your old partners, the Cleveland Browns, they was in a in a strange shootout, an unseen. We I didn't see that type of shootout happening with the Indianapolis Colts, but we did say when y'all went to play the Colts, Gardner ain't no bum. Nah, man. Gardner, he did have three fumbles, but he ain't no bum, though. He was still slinging the rock. Yeah, because Miles Garrett breathing down your neck. He yeah. Like, he going to get one of them out. But, yeah, it was a tough one. Uh, shoot, they put up 23 straight on us, came back tired. We had to go overtime. So, yeah. Cleveland just got that quarterback situation. I think P.J. Walker stepped up. He's straight. You know, he, he made some plays. Um, Deshaun, we just talked about Lamar being worth the bread. I don't want to say he's stealing money, but like, come on, bro, come he on, hurt. bro. He, he hurt, man. You know, look, you, y'all know I'm always look about for. I ain't gonna let him go down. One like foot that. five, one pick. He got hurt, but then look, they cleared him, and Stefanski said he kept him out. Sit him down. Sit him down. Sit him down. Why? Because he hurt, or That's sit him cool. down because we don't want him to stink it up. He protecting him, protecting him. He know you're a little banged up, and you don't want to play with no concussions, especially no quarterback. You got to process stuff yeah, so yeah, fast. Yeah, 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 that's true. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to throw him back out there. Like you said, he was stinking it up. So, hey, he, he'll find it, bro. He got to find mm-hmm. his groove. He's still coming off all that stuff, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. from last year. He ain't got his groove yet. Once he get in his groove, and then if he start playing badly, then you can get on him. But okay. you got to give him some time to get in this little groove, man. Everybody got that little groove. When you in the zone, like your body just doing stuff for you, like right. he, he probably still thinking it's the game probably still moving a little fast. Once he get in the zone, he'd be all right. All right. Did you see that? Yo, Miles Garrett might be defensive in, uh defensive MVP. He's been league, second bro. for like three years in a row. Bro, <laughs> you see he jumped over the game winning block, game ceiling block. He jumped over the lineman, then blocked the kick. I ain't never, I've never seen that. No, that people From do that. People I ain't, no, nah, not like that. Not like him, bro. People do that. Bobby Wagner did it uh, last year. My Justin Simmons, he did it in Denver. It ain't new. To close out the game? I ain't, see, I ain't know it was to close out the game. I thought it was early on. Bruh. But, hey, look, man. That's desperation. That's when you call it. You don't just call it just because. Right. Desperation. Game on the line. We, need, we got something called green light where the edge, the dude on the edge, like the corner, the fastest dude on the team, we try to time it up and... If he get a penalty, so what? Because at that point, you know what I'm saying, the game on the line, mm-hmm. the yard's not going to make a difference. They still need to kick a field goal. Right. So you try to time it up and jump. If you get a penalty, make them kick it again. Either way, they're going to have to kick it. Right. So desperation, look, desperate times call for desperate measures, man. You know, they yeah. Look, they almost lost. So, they hey, did. That, they that was huge. You know what I'm saying? He he a freak athlete. So yeah, it ain't it ain't shocking to me. Miles My, Garrett, you, you, you a monster, bro. Yeah, for you sure. You a monster. What? Are the Buffalo Bills? You know, one week they look like the best team in the league. The next week, we I, I, we can't recognize who they are. What are the Buffalo? You Bills? know, another division game, always hard. You know what I'm saying? Belichick know them people. If anybody know the Buffalo Bills, it's Bill Belichick. He had mm-hmm. been twenty some years. He played them probably fifty times. Mm-hmm. He know them so. Division game is hard, but just them as a whole, I mean, 
I still think they're a the, contender. Yeah, I the st- talent is obvious. Yeah, I still think they're a contender, but losing Milano was huge. Shout out my brother Milano. That was, that was my, my roommate in college, man. BC, we was up there trapping, man. They ain't think we was going <laughs> to make it out. We got up out of there, man. He got a bag. One of the best all pro. Keep doing your thing, Matt. But losing him was big. Uh, losing Trey White was big. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They probably just trying to navigate through some things. But like I said, I still think they're a contender. Josh Allen's franchise quarterback, Diggs. Yeah. Gabe Davis. Like, you know what I'm right, saying? Them right. boys been... I still think they're a contender, so... Yeah, they just got to get it together and get yeah. find some find some consistency, man. That's it. We don't, we don't know what we getting in and out week in and week out with the with, with the Buffalo Bills. It's just like... It's, it's, they are a roller coaster. Yeah. They right. the team kind of is like Josh Allen. It yeah. takes on the quarter the personality of the quarterback. It usually does. Josh Allen is like he's so up and down, but when he on, like you could argue there's nobody better. Like he's yeah, you know what I mean. But they definitely got to find some consistency in order to, you know, because I feel like home field is going to be important in that. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know what I mean. So that's definitely going to be a big deal. I don't know if you call win. They said the uh, Michigan Wolverines been cheating. They cheating. They cheating, cheating. Oh, they cheating, man. Yeah, bro. So I don't know all the details, but apparently, yeah, like you said. They said uh, Common Stallions, a staffer at Michigan, purchased tickets to over 30 games at 11 Big Ten schools. Wait, 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 wait. Who? His name, his name is uh, Common Stallions, a staffer at Michigan. Purchased okay. tickets to over 30 games at 11 Big Ten schools. Wow. And they said this dude was going around from Big Ten to Big Ten school, getting on the other side of the, of the stadium, recording the, recording the signs on the, on the sideline. But what they mean is a staffer. Like he, he works for them. On, he, on the football staff? He works for University of Michigan. I don't know if he works for the football program. I don't know what he does for them, but they say know, he works for the program. You know, sometimes they got, like, boosters and stuff, like probably a alums, a dude that nah, went there. they say he works for, for nah, the that's university. Wicked. He's wicked. He's a <laughs> he's a sick man. They hey. had him, but look, he going and recording signs, and then peep this, though. You know the, you know the two games that he didn't get to go film because he didn't know they that. They lost. TCU and uh, I think TCU and Bama or Georgia. TCU and Georgia. Uh huh. They lost the only the only games he didn't get to go get the signs. They lost. Oh, they cheating. That's crazy. So yeah, I, but 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 like they got talent though. Like they probably don't even need to do that. Like well, uh, to beat Rutgers, to beat Rutgers and, and Illinois. Like you but don't they, need but it. But they was going to Ohio State. Filming, they going, bro. They going everywhere filming, bro. Come on, you can't do that. Okay. They, they say everybody cheating college, though. Okay. That's what they say. I'm gonna say this though. If they didn't do it, would they probably still would have won? Yes. I mean, I'm not trying to defend them or nothing like that. But how much is signals? How much the signals going to do for you? How much the signal? If you know, if you know all the signals. Oh, I know. I know. I do know the signals. I do know signals. We watch it legally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got the TV copy of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they say, uh, Slammer, Slammer Madison or something, mm-hmm. and they ran a screen, and I'm on the field and I hear them say, Slammer Madison, I know a screen coming. So, like, right. we, we do it legally. It ain't just some dude in the stands doing it. Right. It's universal. Everybody can watch the TV copy. A dude sitting at home could hear the calls. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's legal, but... To send somebody and do that, cause college is different. They don't, you can't. I don't think they got TV copies of the games. They might. I'm not sure. But, but they, they, you know, they making it a big thing. They said, um, they got a bunch of people like witnesses and and universities that are going to send over the surveillance um, cameras from the stadiums, and it's a big deal, man. Jim Harbaugh could be in trouble, cause you know when something like that happen, it always fall on the, yeah. on the head coach. Shit. He always take the blame. He want to go to the NFL anyway. I feel like. You feel like he's going to get out of there anyway? I feel like he want to go to the NFL. He did his, you know what I'm saying? He did what he had to do. They put them boys in a good situation. They're going to be better when he, you know what I'm saying, than he found them. So, 
if it come down on him, he's still a good coach. Probably wasn't him. He probably ain't had much to do with it. He might have. He might look. He did. He got in trouble for buying a recruited cheeseburger. So hey, look, like Damn. they be tripping with him already. Yeah. Look, we know you in trouble. They got mad at you for getting a kid a cheeseburger. Yeah. So we know you on the hot seat too yeah, now. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Did you peep the uh the NBA game? Jordan Poole went to Washington. He let he lit Madison Square Garden on fire. Preseason game. He had forty one points. Yeah, I saw that. But then the next game he had six. Yeah, but look, while he cooking, right? Denny Avdia. Standing there like this, like why oh. ain't getting the ball? Hating, hate. Is it too early to be hating in the seat? If you playing with somebody and they cooking, and you not getting the rock, man. How you? How do you go about it? No disrespect to Denny Avdia. <laughs> no disrespect to him. <laughs> Only reason I kinda heard of him is because I'm from DC. I I kinda follow the Wizards, right? But. I don't think he got much ground to stand on to be complaining. They brought Poole in to, to shoot to, the, do, to be that guy. So like, just it's all right, if man. I'm Jordan you, Poole, when I show, look, you, you gonna get team. your chances. Get it off the glass. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting right. every time. I'm getting thirty up. I'm look, getting thirty attempts. What Kobe used to yeah. do? <laughs> look, hit this jump, man. Stop playing. So Diddy, I'll be a relax. You yeah, might be on a trade block. You gonna get soon. your turn. You might be on a trading block. You gonna get your turn, dude. Yeah, you wilding. You yeah. wilding. Jordan Poole. I, he had something to say it. to him on the sideline, too. Yeah, like, so, he was yeah. like, what's that? What you like, talking about, man? Like, <laughs> come on, man. I'm not doing that. Giannis just signed a, a three-year, $186 million extension with Milwaukee. What? Three-year, 186 extension. That's right. Yeah. 60. 60 times three is 180. He getting 186 for three years to add on to what so they That's what? like 60 a year? Am I, am, is my math right? Yeah, 60, 120, getting, they, they 180. They getting paid. 60 amps? He getting paid. And how much Dame getting? Dame is getting 50-something. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I need, I need to. Hey, look, man, my little jit, he playing basketball or baseball. Now, look, this football stuff is it's rewarding, but that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So how much Middleton getting? And where's all this money coming Where? from? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, they get too much money in the NBA, bro. It's too much paper. But I feel like uh, they got to get, all right, look, y'all getting paid a lot. Y'all got to get at least two chips. At least two chips. Two or more. Else, yeah, like, you and Dame got to win two. Minimum. Damn. Minimum two. The uh, Las Vegas, shout out to the Las Vegas Aces. They won the, those ladies, they won their second straight WNBA title. Shout out to Kelsey Plum, Asia yeah, she's Wilson. she's nice. Yeah, they, yeah she, she's Kelsey they, Plum play like a dude. Man, I didn't even know Candace Parker was on that team. She got her a little, another little ring. <laughs> like, Stealing one on, on the you way You know what I'm out. saying? She, she doing TV. She doing everything but basketball, but got another ring. I'm like, hey. But, yeah, they they got a complete team. They had cheat code. I seen a couple of their games, man. They look like some We got to go to next year, next season. We got to go to a WNBA game. Have you been to? I, I haven't been to one. When I was younger, I think. Like they, we, I think we took a field trip to like a Mystics game or some or Mystics game. a Mystic scrimmage. Or something. It was some, I'm pretty sure, but nah, not not really. I ain't never been to one but of them. We games. putting that, we putting that on our uh, no bluffing list. We going, we going yeah. to support the WNBA. That'd be cool. You know what I mean, so uh, December 9th, Devin Haney got a fight. He fighting Regis Progray. Oh, buddy from uh New Louisiana, yeah. Oh, uh, buddy from hey, yeah, Se Seven Wall. Nah, I don't yeah. know where he from. I don't know where he, from. <laughs> he got. He got. He got power though. He, like, he do. Yeah, Devin can't be getting hit like he was getting hit versus Loma. Or, you know. Loma won that fight. You think Loma won? Yes. I'm biased. Devin won. I'm biased. No. <laughs> but yeah, hey, but no, buddy, that's a big fight. Buddy talking. Buddy chirping. Reeves. We might need to go to that. Where's that in Vegas? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's in the Bay though. They doing it in San Francisco. Uh, they doing Devin it where the Warriors doing. play. It's a little homecoming for That's Devin. All right. That's all right. But you know, they say the homecoming be like a jinx because like dudes go home and don't really perform good. Like mm. so. Well, see, that'd be a good fight. I'll be tuning in for sure. You should try to go. Depend. It was a Saturday. I probably can't go. It's probably gonna be on a Saturday. Oh yeah, you got work. Yeah, you got work. But look, man, we appreciate y'all watching this episode of No Bluffing Podcast, and we'll see y'all next week on a new episode. No bluffing giveaway. We're giving away two tickets to any Los Angeles Rams home game of your choice. That's right. You pick the game. Now, here's how you become eligible to win these tickets. 
You must subscribe to the YouTube channel at No Bluffing Podcast. You must follow us on X and Instagram at No Bluffing Podcast. Now repost your favorite clip and hashtag No Bluffing Tickets. That's tickets, T-I-X. Good luck.